The third stretch is the most fundamental, and it's the following. In complex and conflictual situations, we cannot control what other people will do. Uh, ten years ago, my colleagues and I were involved in a very complicated project in India around child malnutrition. It involved uh, 98 different stakeholder groups, a um, lot of pressure, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of pressure of different kinds. And at a certain point after working on it for months, I found myself just completely confused. And I went to a, a friend of mine, a me an Indian mentor of mine named Arun Mayra, and I asked him, Arun, what are we doing here? And he gave me a very good answer. He said, Adam, you have to remember that in these multi-stakeholder problem-solving activities, Everybody comes into the room thinking if only those other people would change what they're doing, everything would be okay. But if we're all here, it's not mathematically possible that it's all about what the other people would do. What we're really doing, he said, is helping people understand what it is they need to do differently. I used to work in Latin America <clears throat> with a wonderful Paraguayan facilitator named Jorge Talavera. My Spanish is not very good, and at the time his English was not very good, and we, so we had really brief conversations like, you know, circle, circle, circulo, you know. But we had one piece of code that we always used. We always used to talk about el click. What was el click? El click was the moment in a group when everything shifted. What was the characteristic of el click? The characteristic was the moment when people understood that for the situation to change, they had to change. And when this happens, everything moves. So the third stretch involves a shift in how you understand your role, a shift from thinking of yourself as outside or above, like a director or an observer, to understanding yourself as inside or part of the situation, as a co-responsible co-creator. And this is an entirely, different, uh, an entirely different way of understanding the situation, an entirely different commitment. The, the joke goes that in a ham omelet, the chicken is involved, but the pig is committed. <laughs> so this is, about, this is about that kind of commitment. There was a saying, uh, a friend of mine once pointed out to me that this saying from the 60s, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, actually misses the important point. The much more fundamental point, uh, which, is which is related to this third and final stretch, is if, you're, if you can't see how you're part of the problem, then it follows logically there's no way you can be part of the solution except from the outside through forcing. 